if we don't talk about mental health, then we're never going to invite people to support us. We're never going to share the things that we're habitually suppressing. And that stuff hurts you. And I believe that um, if you're holding on to things, even though you don't perceive them to be of any weight, when you release something, you get something off your shoulders. You feel lighter, you feel better as a result. Um, sharing is the path to finding solutions. Suppression is the path to one day self-combusting, you know, whether it's anxiety, depression, um, all of the things that we try and avoid, uh, you know, all the things that we're trying to, um, trying to free ourselves from. I've always understood the, the importance of exercise. Uh, I know that if I've exercised every day, then that's going to send me in the right direction towards being as well as possible. Um, I don't mind sharing that I go through psychotherapy for something called reparenting. I've been doing it for two and a half years and I know checking in with my therapist over Zoom weekly is always something that enables me to get that balance in my life. I would say that self-kindness is massive. If we make a mistake, we fail at something in life. I think that's always a good thing because it's a lesson, it's something you can learn and grow from. Um, but generally, um, I never berate myself. I'm never too hard on myself because I think life has a way of doing that. There's lots of other people that, that will try and do that for you. So it doesn't make sense for me to not be on my own side. As long as you're not irresponsible and reckless, um, then I think that you know, to be kind on yourself, to yourself, is a really important trait that's going to help us to navigate how difficult and challenging life is at the moment. And this one um, came about really when I was quite young because life was pretty challenging in childhood. And um, I always used to tell myself that I deserve a good life. And I think the, the understanding that I had was that, you know, if I've gone through all of these things, then surely I, I deserve for things to go well for me. So um, that mantra has always stuck with me. And I believe as a result, wherever that goes, whatever the universe gives me, I've always generally enjoyed a really privileged life. So I think that my mantra has a big part to play in that. And I think that any of us at any time in our lives can make up a mantra and live by it. And I think your life will then shape itself around what it is that you believe your life should be. Be that role model. I think sometimes we try and verbalize what we want our kids to do. And it is very often um, met with some defensive response because you're trying to run their life or you're trying to tell them what to do all the time. Um, so what I found in having teenagers is that all I can really do is I can be that role model that's, you know, I get up at 5 a.m., I'm always exercising, meditating. I'm, I don't ram it down their throat, but I absolutely tell them what I do, what benefits that I get. And um, it might not seem like they necessarily want to do these things straight away, but seeds are planted. And I know that they'll come back to the lessons that they've learned just by observing your behavior, uh, the way that you deal with stress, the way that you've dealt with lockdown, um, your sense of positivity and actually what you do in order to maintain your own mental health. They're taking all of that in. So instead of giving the lessons all the time, be the lesson.